What's going on YouTube? BK Low is back in the building. And in this video, we are going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately, which is, am I going to sell my 2016 Lowrider S? Okay, YouTube, so here's the situation. Roughly about a month ago, I made a video titled, Is the Dyna Dead? Which was a common question that people were asking after the um, new soft tails were released and Harley Davidson axed the uh, Dyna. So I wanted to wait, you know, six months or so before I uh, weighed in, because once it happened, like, everyone and their brother had an opinion on it. But I wanted to, like, let it simmer for a little bit. I wanted to, like, you know, give it a chance and really sit with it before I weighed in. So I went ahead and I made the video asking the question. And then as I um, explored the question more and more, it just, like, got to the point where it's like, all right, in order for me to answer this, I really just gotta go and test ride one of the new uh, soft tail dinas, which I did. And I test rode one, I reviewed it, and if you saw my review on it, I gave it a pretty positive review. Like I had a great time on that bike, I was pretty happy with it. Now once people saw that video, I started immediately getting bombarded with the same question over and over again which was are you selling your Dyna to buy one of the new soft tails and I'm not kidding like you should see like my Instagram DMs you should see some of the comments and uh, some of the messages I got but the question remained the same people some people were actually you know asking me like hey are you gonna sell your Dyna and buy one of these things and, and, and the overall response was really interesting like I would say half the people were like happy with my review and they were like hey you know we really like how you're giving this bike a fair shake we really like how you're being honest and positive about the future you know so that was maybe like you know half the comments I got and then roughly a half or maybe a little bit less than half were comments that were not so nice. And a lot of people like did not like <laughs> the things that I had to say about the uh, new bikes. And one person actually accused me of like betraying the Dyna line and like being a traitor to my bike. <laughs> and I, I'm, I, it got pretty real, man. It got pretty ugly. And um, I looked and like I even lost subscribers like after making that video so you know it's like the first video I made where it had that kind of result but like I said many many people just start asking me that common question like dude it sounds like you're on the path to selling your bike so before I answer that question um, if you're new to the channel, I should probably tell you a little bit about the bike I'm on right now. So it is a 2016, I've had it for about two years now. Before that, I was riding a uh, old Sportster 883 that my dad passed down to me. And let me tell you, for the two years that I've had this bike, from the moment I got it till this moment right now, I put like my blood, sweat, and tears into this bike to make it what it is and to get it to the point where it's it's 100 my bike the way i want it and i've also had some of the most amazing memories on this bike i've gone cross country on this bike with my family with my dad like the trip of the lifetime i've been recognized this bike has been recognized by people 
you know, of course in New York, but you know, even when I did that trip out west, like people would still recognize this bike from seeing it on like Dynamite Crew and seeing it on Instagram. And I gotta say, like, I think I've had some of the best moments of my life with this bike. So, really quick to, like, answer the question of if I'm gonna sell this bike, the answer is a really quick and easy one. The answer is no. Like, and it's not only just no, but it's I will never sell this bike. This bike is gonna be one of those heirloom Arleys that stay in my family for as long as possible. Long after I ride it. So now you've heard it from me, okay? That's right. Even though I really loved that uh, 2018 Fat Bob, and I had a lot of nice things to say about it, and I had a really good time riding it, that does not mean that I would take it over my Dyna. I wouldn't take any bike over my Dyna. This is my bike, man. Come on, guys. Like, I don't, I, I can't, I still can't believe that response. I mean, I gave it a good review, but I never said that I would take it over my Dyna. Like, come on. But yeah, I, I love this bike. And I enjoy riding this bike more than any other bike out there. Like I even said it in the video, like this bike has like a rawness to it like no other. Listen to that. You don't just get that. And even if it's like 20 years down the line and say they like re-release the Dyna and it's just a way better bike, which you know it probably will happen. I could just never get rid of this bike because of the uh, memories I've had on it. And also, it's always going to sound awesome like that. <laughs> I don't know what's going to replace that sound. So that's not to say that in like 20 years, if I'm so fortunate to still be doing long rides, like going cross country and going to Sturgis and stuff. That's not to say that one day I might upgrade to a bagger or maybe one day I will have a second bike and you know it very well could be one of the new uh, soft tail dynas or one of the new or whatever comes up you know throughout the years. But that does not mean that I would get rid of this bike ever. So case closed, you heard it from BK Low. Don't worry guys, you're still gonna see this bike for as long as I'm around, and hopefully after. And before we close it out, um, I do have to give a couple shout outs in this video. Um, two big shout outs of two new channels I just found out about recently, which is Motokari and Big Bad Wolf Moto definitely been enjoying their content um i did not know those channels existed until uh, a couple until like about a month ago definitely check them out they're definitely worth checking out and the reason why i found those channels is because well i gotta give another shout out is because um salvadorian boy out of texas made like a really amazing video a couple weeks ago where it, it really was it really brought together like the smaller moto vlogging community a huge shout out to salvadorian boy like really making an amazing video to like you know connect us all together i'm looking forward to more stuff like that in the future but that's really it. I hope I did that question justice. I hope you could rest easy now. And um, <laughs> if you thought I was going to sell this bike and you've already sent me offers on it, I'm sorry. It's not for sale. But that is really it. We're going to close it out here. Thank you for watching. And BK Low is out.